so Locke is trying to distinguish his account of knowledge from Plato's. Right? He's rejecting Plato's account. That's fine, right? We know that much. But the question is exactly how is he rejecting Plato's account of knowledge? And for this, he's going to reject in some way Plato's account of the forms. Right? So if you remember from that discussion that we had when we're dealing with Plato's account of, of the forms, he's got four characteristics of form. Uh, and we have that form is known through reason, form is uh, objective knowledge, form is uh, the universal, and form is eternal. So we looked at this question, you know, as far as rejecting Plato's account of, of the forms. So we looked at this before when we dealt with Aristotle. Right? And Aristotle rejected the last condition that form is uh, eternal. Right? So here's a question: uh, How does uh, Locke reject? Plato's conception of form. Which of the four, or you know, all of the four, or some of the four of these characteristics uh, does Locke reject? Mm -hmm.